this chapter, we're going to study angles and reasoning. In this lesson, we're going to look at congruent triangles and the congruency postulates. Okay, hi everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to look at congruent triangles. And I'm going to let you know right off this, uh, kind of right off the, the top here that uh, this is going to be a a lot less math and a lot less, a lot more kind of just talking through, okay, uh, and discussing certain things here. So there's just a couple of examples that we'll look through, but there's a lot more discussion here. So before we get into it, we just want to make sure that you understand what congruency is. We're going to look at some triangles that are congruent to each other and triangles that are not congruent to each other. So just take a quick look at the pairs that we've got here, okay, and then take a look at the pairs of triangles that we've got here. So remember, these are congruent. These are not congruent, okay? So, and the symbol we might use here is something like this, okay? Whereas these are not, whoops, did that the wrong way. Anyway, not congruent. Now, what we mean by congruent is, and if you haven't already kind of picked that up here, what we mean by congruent here is that they're basically copies of each other. They're, they're, uh, they've got exactly the same uh, sides and angles, okay? Everything kind of lines up. Um, you know, the, the uh, angles between each of the sides, the congruent sides here, they're the same. Uh, it's basically like, they're like just taking a copy and then sliding it over and moving it someplace else. You can have them rotated in different ways. That doesn't matter, it can be flipped. As long as they are the same sides and the same angles, then they are congruent, okay? Now, if you're given a set of triangles and you know all three angles and all three side lengths, you can tell really easily whether they're congruent or not. I mean, as long as everything matches up, they are. But you don't need all that information. In fact, this is what this is mostly about here. You do not need to know all six of those bits of information, the sides and the angles, to determine whether two triangles are congruent. And that's what we're going to talk about for the next uh, the next little bit here is, well, what other situations can we interpret uh, congruency from? And to start off with, we're going to take a look at a scenario here where you know that all three sides of the triangle uh, triangles are the same, okay? So the side, side, side rule, that's SS, says that if all three triangles of one triangle are congruent to the three sides of a second triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Now, this kind of follows quite directly from something that we were talking about in a previous lesson here, where I was saying that, that the size of an angle, when it opens up to a, a given side here, uh, the size of this angle is it related to this uh, length of that side here. And so you go from side to side, and however big it is, and remember the largest angle opens up to the largest side, smallest angle opens up to the smallest side here, okay? So let's say you have uh, a tr one triangle whose side lengths are three, four, and uh, seven, and the other triangle, uh, actually that is not possible. Let me give a different angle here. Let's say it's three, four, and six. Uh, three, four, and six. I just wanna make sure that the, the numbers here uh, actually work here. So we'll just change it. Three, four, and six, three, four, and six. By side, 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 we know that the triangles must be exactly the same size and shape uh, because it has three sides that are congruent. So and if you take a quick look there, let's just look at the, the notation. Okay, those two sides are the same, these two sides are the same, these two sides are the same, and that's how you can tell. And so I know that these two triangles are congruent, which means, by the way, that I can then assume that this angle is the same as this angle, okay? This angle is the same as this angle, and this angle is the same as this angle. So that's what I can therefore conclude based on knowing that all three sides are the same. So let's go and take a look at the next one. I've got this angle side angle scenario here. <laughs> so angle side angle rule says that if two angles uh, and the included side of one triangle are the same as the two angles and the included side of a second triangle, okay, then the two triangles are congruent. And actually, you kind of have to just, uh, if you just stop and think about that, that actually makes a lot of sense here. Uh, so you've got this side right here is congruent to this side. And then what happens here is you're going to open up at a certain angle, then open up another at a certain angle here. It actually makes perfect sense that those would meet at a point that's the same distance away from that given line segment there. So this, the example here says, let's say that you have one triangle with angles that are 30 and 50 degrees, and the side between those is 9 centimeters. If you've got a, a second triangle where that matches up, then these two are congruent, okay? 
by what we call the angle side angle uh, postulate. And by the way, these are all these these rules here that I'm giving you. These aren't laws per se. They're they're postulates. They're something that we're looking at here that we're not really expecting uh, proof for. So make sure you notice the order of the letters in angle side angle. So the S is between the two A's. That's it's important that you catch that. Once I know that these two triangles are congruent, I know that this side here is going to be the same as this side. I know that. Uh, this side right here is going to be the same as this side. I know that this angle here is going to be the same as this angle here. I know that. I can assume that because they're congruent to each other. And we've established that. Let's take a look at another rule. Okay, the next one we got is basically the, well, I won't say opposite per se, but you might look at it that way. Side angle side. <coughs> the side angle side rule says that if two sides of one triangle and the angle included between them are congruent, uh, to two sides in the angle, included angle of a second triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Okay, uh, so in the example that we're going to use here, let's say we've got uh, a triangle where you've got the side lengths of 5 and 10 and the angle in between is 30 degrees. Okay, so you've got this 30 degree angle here and you go out uh, 5, you go out 10 here, whoops, and then just connect the two uh, endpoints there. I think it makes sense that when you've drawn that across here, it doesn't matter where you do that, you're going to get the exact same triangle. Okay, a lot of these things are just, they're almost, well, they're obvious uh, once you stop and think about what it is that we're describing here. And again, order is important. We've got to make sure the angle is in between the two sides here for these to be congruent. And once I know that, once again, I know that this side is going to be the same as this side. I know that that angle is the same as that angle. And this angle right here is the same as this angle right there. Okay, that's, that is the power of knowing that these two triangles are congruent. Okay, got another one here. The angle angle side. Ah, okay, angle angle side here. So, angle angle side, if you have this situation where the angle is not in between the two known angles, we can calculate the third side by knowing the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. Now you have a triangle that would fall into the ASA group. Okay, and this, so this is a little bit of a tweak here, uh, and we're giving this to you. We're kind of drawing your attention to it. Uh, sometimes when we go through this, we kind of let this rule fall into people's laps. Uh, we let them look at it and then, real, and then kind of realize this for themselves here. But yeah, if you know those two angles right there and this side, well, you automatically know this one as well, right? And if those two angles are the same, well, then these two angles, sorry, if, if these two angles are the same and these two angles are the same, then the one that's left over in the triangle, well, that's going to be the same in both of those two triangles there. And then all of a sudden, this is reduced to an angle side angle relationship. Okay? So, yeah, like I said, sometimes we just let that pop out of an assignment and let people discover that one on their own. Okay, so now let's take a look at an example. So here, our question says, in each case, state the congruent uh, condition. Okay, we're basically, what we're going to identify here is the postulate that we can use to identify congruency. And so it's just those three right there, SSS, SAS, or ASA. Now notice we're not using the angle, angle, side, because that is, again, just a special case of angle, side, angle. Okay, so let's take a look at our different questions right here. Oops, let's make sure that you can see everything. So what I'm being told here is that these two sides are the same. I'll make this a little darker. These two sides are the same and this angle is the same as this angle. Well, that's clearly side, angle, side. And therefore, we know that those two triangles are congruent. Here, and again, I'll make this a little bit darker. I know that this angle and this angle are the same. This angle is the same as this angle. This side is the same as this one. So this is setting itself up to be an angle, angle, side. But I know that actually what that means is that this angle here is the same as this angle here. So therefore, this is angle side angle for right here. Okay, for the this group at the bottom here. No angle is being mentioned here. There's only one option. This has to be side, side, side. And in fact, it is. That side's the same as this one. Uh, one, two, three. Now notice that it's rotated a little bit. Okay, so their orientation isn't the same. This one's rotated to get, uh, uh, well, actually, sorry, not even rotated. It's been flipped, but that's okay. Sorry, it's been flipped over here, but that's okay. As long as it's side, 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 all three sides are the same. We know that they're congruent. And then over here, 
Actually, this one here is coming through a little bit nicer here. That's nice. Angle, angle, the side and side there. So this is an another angle, side, angle congruency. Okay, so now we want to take a look at uh, two other little situations that do pop up that cause a little bit of concern with students here. It says here, let's start with AAA, okay? So this would mean that you've got two triangles uh, and the three angles are the same. So would these two triangles have to be exactly the same size and shape? Well, actually, no. No, they don't. Um, if you've got uh, angle, 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 um, if I just make the triangle smaller, if I just take it and, you know, like if this is a picture of a triangle and you just kind of pinch it here to make it smaller, uh, what I'm going to get here is a triangle that's the same, the same shape, okay, but it's totally going to be a different size here, okay. And actually, these, these two triangles here are, they're not congruent, but if you think back, what word do we use to describe two shapes that are, that are like this? We call them similar, okay? Similar shapes, not congruent. Congruent uh, implies that they've got the, or not implies, congruent means that they've got the same shape and the same size. Similar simply means that they have the same size. Oh, sorry. Wow, screwed that up. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. Back up. Congruent means that they are the same size and the same shape. Similar simply means that they're the same shape, okay? But they uh, could be different sizes here. Now, what about side, side angle? So if you've got two sides and a non-included angle are congruent, are the triangles congruent? Now, this is an interesting one here. The answer is no. And that's because of uh, something that we, it's related to trigonometry here. Uh, and, and if you go and, and look at a chapter in trigonometry, uh, you'll probably bump into this, something called a sine law. It's what we call the ambiguous case of the sine law. What you see here is it's possible to draw two different triangles with that information, okay? So knowing the two sides and then the angle that's not in between them, it turns out oh, there is a little bit of ambiguity there, okay? So what happens here is, I've got this scenario right here. This side is the same as this side, okay? This side here is the same as this side and this angle is the same as this angle here. But what happens here is, to go from, I, I could draw either one of these two triangles here because I've got a scenario set up here where this side right here could actually pivot at this point, okay, could pivot and then I could rotate it, uh, draw it out here. So this triangle right here is the same as this triangle, but this larger triangle is not, okay. So there is a possibility that those two triangles are congruent, but there's also an equally likely possibility that those two triangles are not congruent. So no, you cannot assume congruency in that particular case. It's interesting, really interesting little exception to the rule there. Okay, let's look at another question here or another example. It says, in each case, use the given information to determine if the triangles are congruent. If they are, state the congruence condition. Okay, let's zoom in and try that again. So here we go. Now we're assuming that the variables here are identifying uh, angles that are the same. So I've got angle, side, angle. So yep, angle, side, angle, congruence. I have got angle, 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 whoops, didn't see that. Angle, angle, angle. Yeah, these are not congruent. Now it may be, by the way, don't, please don't get me wrong here. It may be that they are in fact congruent. It may be that those, that those two triangles have exactly the same sides, but I can't guarantee that based on the information that I've been given, okay? I don't know that for sure. They certainly do look like they're congruent. Don't get me wrong. If you're looking at that, you might think, well, gee, yeah, they certainly do look it, but that's not a guarantee based on the information that I have here right now. Oh, this one is beautifully set up for us here. Uh, notice the the relationship, if anything, this triangle is just a slight rotation of the other one. Yeah, uh, this is side, side, side. All three sides are the same. And over here, oh, I like when we start looking at uh, questions like this. So this side right down the middle here is shared between the two of them. So 
this side is going to be the same in both triangles. And then I know that that's a right angle and that's a right angle, so that angle is the same. And this is telling me that those two sides are the same. So yes, these are congruent by the side angle side postulate. And there you go.